Hello, today we're going to talk about some relationships between pairs of lines. So first of all, in a coordinate plane, two lines are parallel if and only if they're both vertical lines. So that would look like this, going straight up and down. Or if they both have the same slope. So they could be slanted pretty much any direction, as long as they're both slanted that same direction. And then they're perpendicular if and only if one is vertical and the other is horizontal. So that would look like this. And typically you would see a little line like this. Oh, I forgot to show. To show that two lines are parallel, you can draw little arrows on both of them going the same direction. And that way we know that those are parallel. Okay, you could probably do that up here too. All right, and then perpendicular, if and only if one is vertical and the other is horizontal, or the slopes of the lines are negative reciprocals of each other. And so it would look like this, mm, possibly like this. And the negative reciprocal slope, for instance, if one had a slope of two, then the perpendicular line would have a slope of negative one half. Just remember that 2 is the same as 2 over 1. Another pair of negative reciprocals would be something like 2 thirds. And that would go along with negative 3 over 2. You basically put the top on the bottom, bottom on the top, and then make the opposite symbol. So those two would go together, and those two would go together. OK, now there's another relationship called coincident if and only if their equations are equivalent. And essentially that means the two lines are right on top of each other, really that they're the same line. You might think, oh, well, of course you can tell right away if they're coincident, but sometimes they might just look like they're different, but when you actually graph them, they end up being the same because they're just in a slightly different format. All right, lines that do not intersect are either parallel lines, and that's when they're coplanar. So remember, a plane looks like a flat piece of cardboard or a flat piece of paper, and it's basically a flat surface. And then when they're not coplanar, then they're called skew lines. So if you look in this little diagram over here, you'll notice that M and N are in the same plane. So M and N are parallel. We could write that M is parallel to, well, I don't want to say line M. It's parallel to line N. And then we have skew lines. The skew lines are ones that are not in the same plane, and they just don't ever connect. And so you'll notice that K right here and M they're not in the same plane, and it looks like they'll never connect, just the way they're oriented. And so those would be called skew lines. And so we'll say line M and line K. And then parallel planes are planes that do not intersect. And so you can see that they look similar to the lines. So plane T and plane U. You can see those planes basically never connect, it's just the way they're oriented. Okay, next we're going to talk about the parallel postulate. So the postulate officially says if there's a line and a point not on the line, so let's go ahead and draw a little picture of that. So we've got a line, and we have a point, just some random point that's not on the line. And there's exactly one line through the point that's parallel to the given line. Let's call this point A, you can see there's only one way that you could draw a line that would be parallel to the other line, and actually goes through that point. Can't get it to autocorrect quite right. There we go. There's no other way to draw it. And then the perpendicular postulate says that if there's a line and a point not on the line,
so I'll call this point B, then there's exactly one line that goes through the point that's perpendicular. There's only one way to draw that line, kind of like that. It has that relationship. Okay, so here's a quick little exercise. So I want you to think of each segment in this figure as being part of a line. And we're going to assume that this is a cube shape. You can see some little right angles drawn in there. It says, which lines or planes appear to fit the descriptions? We're looking for lines parallel to CD, which is right here, and containing point A. So point A is right here. So it looks like the only line that would be parallel would be this right here. We could call it line AB. Actually, I guess we don't need to say line. We could just say line AB like that. Then the lines that are skew to CD and contain point A. So we'll have to kind of check each. So here's the point. We'll have to check each line one at a time. We already know that BA is parallel. Let's look at this line here. So this would be AH. And it doesn't look like it will ever cross CD, so that would be a skew line. So we've got line AH. And let's see if there's any others. G would go line AG. It looks like it also would not connect with CD. So that would be line AG. Clean this up a bit. And line HG, that actually looks like it is, oh, that doesn't, I was going to say, it looks parallel also, but I just realized it doesn't go through A, so that's not one of the ones we're checking. Okay. Looks like we've already checked each line that is running through A. All right, now let's look at the next one. Lines perpendicular to CD and contain point A. Okay. I guess that's one line we didn't check yet, but you can see that. I think I eliminated it automatically, realizing that it would cross it anyway. And so line DA looks like it is perpendicular to CD and it also contains point A. And that's the only line there. And then planes parallel to EFG. So let's look at where EFG is. EFG is going to be this plane here on the bottom. If you think of it like a box, this top part here would be parallel to EFG. Because it looks like if you were to extend that forever, they would never touch. And we could call that line A, or not line, you could call that plane ABC. You only need to have three points to define a plane. All right, so we have kind of a similar exercise. This is a giving line marking show how the roads in the town are related to one another. Name a pair of parallel lines. So you can see from the markings right here that line Actually, I think I'm going to switch. I guess we can use these. Okay, so it's actually a ray. We're going to say ray D M. And we're going to pretend that those extend out forever. So let's go ahead and say line D M is parallel to line E F. And then it says, name a pair of perpendicular lines. You can see this little marking right here. That shows that line B, we'll call it line BF, right here, that goes along right here, is perpendicular. Let's use this marking right here. Perpendicular to... 
line dm. And once again, some of these look like they might actually be rays, but we're going to assume that these are representing lines, kind of similar to how we did up here. And it says, is FE, let me clean this up just a bit, is line FE, which is right here, is that parallel to AC? AC is here. You can tell that if it were to continue, they would definitely cross. So no, that is not parallel. All right, that's it for today. Have a great, great day, and I'll talk to you later.